Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today I have some speculation 9.8 comics to consider buying. And uh, I really like these ones, but I'm not going to say like, you know, these are going to be great investments or anything like that. I think with spec 9.8 comics, you want to make sure you really love the cover and the heroes and the story and everything. Because most likely it'll probably just flatline over time. Like it's not going to slowly and steadily increase in value like, you know, kind of a no-brainer key issue would. Uh, so just know that going into when you're buying some of these more speculative 9.8s and hopefully you get lucky on one or two and you know you get a spike in price or whatever it is. Uh, so let's have a look here. First one is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin, number one in a 9.8. I think this one's, it's a pretty good timing on this one where the prices are cooling down. They're kind of tempting me on this one. I was able to read The Last Ronin. Pretty great read. I would definitely recommend it out there to uh, any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan. And uh, the issue number one in a 9.8, just cooling down in price, I think. I saw one sell for $100 even, 100 US dollars. I hadn't saw one go that low in a, in a really long time. I saw another auction go, these were both in the last week or two, $118.99. All uh, US dollars, the prices. So, uh, you know, I thought this one was a little bit more kind of pushing around $150 for a good deal in the last Ronin 1 on the first print. So I, th I think if you like this one, you can absolutely think about getting in there uh, for a 9.8 around 100 US dollars. There's a 2,190 9.8s in a blue label for this one. Pretty popular modern comic with a lot of them out there. 77.4%, uh, the 9.8 ratio. Interesting, there are quite a few 9.9s on the census. Uh, I think over 200 in the last run in number one in a 9.9. So if you're really serious, maybe even go up to the 9.9 grade. I believe, I think I saw a few in the first issue, first print go in the 9.9 for kind of in the 250 range, I believe. So that might be worth it if, if you're big into this one. Uh, another thing I noticed with the uh, last Ronin uh, series is the third issue, which is uh, kind of a pretty cool Superman 75 cover homage. That's been selling in auctions for higher than $100. Like I'm pretty sure, you know, they were kind of like 110 to 120 prices. So it's kind of, I would say, neck and neck with the last run in number one. Uh, that third issue with the cool cover. And uh, in the second issue as well, it's the first full appearance of uh, Casey Marie Jones, who is uh, the daughter of Casey Jones in April, it ends up being. And yeah, she's a really cool character, I think. And uh, she appears in the first issue. It's kind of debatable. Like the, I think the first issue is her first full appearance, to be honest. But in, in the second issue, CGC denotes it. Uh, so that one was sort of interesting for me with that first full appearance, the second issue. And that one's going for like $50, like $40 in a couple auctions I've saw recently. So I think the last Ronin, yeah, it's kind of cooling down. It's a good timing on this one where the books are just cooling down in price. So. Yeah, you'd, you'd want to uh, think of, consider a, a last row to number one, I think, if you're a Ninja Turtles fan. Okay, our next one is uh, Black Panther, number three in a 9.8. This one is the first appearance of Tosin Oduye, and uh, who seems like kind of like a new Wakanda hero. So that's kind of cool. Any kind of new hero is pretty exciting. And uh, this one is kind of going for pretty stiff money right now. A couple auctions recently. One going for $201.89 and another for $207.50. And I think this one's still kind of in that new comic book phase, whereas it had just pretty much recently come out. It's got a cool Alex Ross cover in the first print as well. I think on the last Ronins too, like check out all the variant covers. There's a bunch of variants. Make sure you do your price research if you wanna buy one of those variants in a 9.8, because there's so many variants on the last Ronin number one. There's a couple variants on the Black Panther number three as well, but I really like that the first print with the Alex Ross cover art. There's uh, 756 in that first print in the uh, universal blue label, 91.3%, the 9.8 ratio. So I actually really like this one and um, I'm kind of uh, looking forward. I want to read, I want to get this on my reading list and, and read this one. It, it seems like a cool story. But uh, I think for this one, you, you'll probably want to wait about six to 12 months. As I said, it's still kind of in that new comic book phase with it being very new, there's still a little bit of hype and I think the prices are a little elevated right now. In six to 12 months, people will kind of forget about this one. And I feel like in the kind of 125 to 150 range when it cools down, this Black Panther number three is, is probably one of the cooler, newer first appearances that I've come across. Uh, but 201.89 right now, 207.50 in auctions. I think that that's like pretty decent prices for them right now, but I would be patient on that one. 
even though I, I really like it. Yeah, Black Panther number three is a pretty cool one with a, a, a kind of a, a decent new first appearance for sure. Okay, next one really cool as well. Uh, Batman Superman World's Finest number four. I like this uh, Mora variant cover for this one though. And you know, maybe there's not too many in a 9.8. This one had just really a, a, is brand new. Uh, so you might, you know, want to pick up a couple raw copies possibly. But what it has on the covers in this story, I did read the this uh, World's Finest uh, comic too. And uh, uh, yeah, a great read too. Batman and Superman got a really good kind of uh, camaraderie going on, I think, in, in the World's Finest, this one. But uh, in this issue, there's a fusion of, uh, it's like Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern to like kind of defeat the villain kind of thing. And uh, really cool how it happens, and they ended up doing kind of a, a variant cover of this uh, sort of hybrid fusion of Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern. I saw this one sell for $99 or best offer in a 9.8. So, you know, that could have been 60, 70 bucks, maybe even a little bit more. Um, I think this one is similar to that black, the last book where it's a new comic book day book, a little bit of hype around this one. I think there was a video or two on the internet that did pretty well just explaining how how, uh, you know, in this comic that there was a Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern uh, fusion hybrid kind of hero. Uh, it just happens for a second, and then the kind of power runs out, I guess. Um, but there's a 16 9.8s for this one in the uh, universal grade blue label. 94.1% is a 9.8 ratio. So, yeah, maybe be patient on this one, too. More get graded over time. You get this one for, like, 50, 60 bucks. Because there's no big first appearance. It's just kind of this cool fusion with that variant. So I think that's that's probably how you want to play that one. Okay, next one. It's a uh, a web of Spider-Man, number one. But this is the newer web of Spider-Man. It's like W-E-B of Spider-Man. Sort of an acronym. Um, it, and it's the first appearance of Harvey Keener, or Har Harley Keener, yeah, it's Harley Keener. Um, who is, he, like, he's the little kid in the Iron Man 3 movie. This is his first appearance, I believe, in Marvel continuity. And uh, there's a chance that he becomes the next Iron Man, basically. Yeah, whether it's in the movies because, um, you know, Tony Stark's getting a little older, even though he's awesome as the Iron Man, or uh, oh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, maybe this uh, Harley Keener character ends up becoming the new Iron Man at some point in the MCU or in the comics. In this one, he's sort of a part of like a group that supports Spider-Man, I guess. A younger group of uh, kind of, you know, teenagers and kids. Uh, so this Web of Spider-Man in the first print, pretty cool one with that, you know, some potential there. And this one came out a couple years ago, so it's really cooled down. There's a 351, 9.8s in the blue label, 86.2%, the 9.8 ratio. Saw one sell for $36 in an auction. So, yeah, this is one you're super patient. You wait for a stealthy auction to pop up. It's such a kind of a cooling down book. Maybe you get it for $36. Bucks. Saw one go for $69.95. And, you know, I think... Kind of you split that difference right around the $50, $55 level is a pretty solid fair price if uh, you like this one. And yeah, I mean, I, there's kind of some really big upside, I would say, if uh, Harley Keener becomes the new Iron Man. But if that doesn't happen, this one's probably just one that, that will go sideways. But uh, pretty decent first, you know, modern first appearance with some uh, upside. Okay, last one. It's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, number two. from uh, This one's uh, from 2019 in a 9-8, the, uh, the Donnie Cates kind of storylined uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a first appearance of Dark Guardians in this one. A uh, really cool Thanos cover as well. Really kind of like the cover, decent first appearance. Although, um, you know, the Dark Guardians first appearance, it's, there's no first appearance of like a new character. It's just kind of the assembling of the new Dark Guardians, I guess, in this one. Um, so, you know what, if you're maybe a little bit more serious about the Dark Guardians, you can consider a Thanos 13. That's a first appearance of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. He's kind of one of the main heroes in the Dark Guardians team. And uh, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a pretty great one. That's kind of cooling down as well. I think they're about 250 in a 9.8. I didn't look up prices for that one. But that's a, probably the more preferred book with a big first appearance, whereas again, in this one, it's kind of the coming together of the Dark Guardians for the first time, but no kind of first appearances of a hero. This one's just super under the radar. You know, maybe worth it to just kind of keep an eye open for an auction, get it at a great price. There's a 22 in a 9.8. 88% is the 9.8 ratio. I saw one sell just in the last day or so for 
dollars. Uh, I think it was sixty nine ninety nine. It was it was in a buy it now as well. I feel like that's probably near the higher end of the range for this one. It's super underfollowed. If one kind of pops up in an auction, you probably get it for like forty five dollars or something like that. But uh, it is a Donny Cates story, so certainly Donny Cates has its kind of cult of fans. And my thinking on this one is, you know, it's so under the radar right now. And um, maybe in six months or a year or two, there'll be like a Dark Guardian self-titled book. Uh, you know how they, they did that with the Dark Avengers. I think, you know, Dark Avengers, I think, has the first appearance of, uh, what is it, like Harry Osborn as Iron Patriot or something. So there is kind of a first appearance in there. I'm not directly comparing the books, but I, at, at the point where they, if, if and when they come out with kind of a solo titled Dark Guardians comic book, I think these sort of first Dark Guardians books will really heat up during that time. So, you know, you can get them now for closer to $50, hopefully. Hopefully that happens, a little bit of a speculation, admittedly, but uh, that's what the video is all about. But uh, if that does happen, I could see like the first Dark Guardians with the solo Dark Guardian comic coming out going for $149.99 or something like that. So, you know, right now it's just looking like a really good value uh, with that one selling for uh, $69. Hopefully you get it a little closer to $50. And cool cover. Yeah, really cool Thanos cover that I think is collectible. So, yeah, maybe this one, uh, you know, has, a, has a pr some pretty decent potential, let's call it, for like a brand new book. And, and still super underfollowed, I think, on the Guardians of the Galaxy number two from uh, 2019 in a 9.8. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there's... With the kind of few of the last Ronin books, there's about six or seven ideas there. Yeah, and just keep in mind, um, you know, as I said in the beginning of the video, uh, speculations, you just want to make sure you really like the book because the odds are probably not going to do much, uh, you know, rising uh, steadily in value or anything like that. Um, I'll throw up another video uh, because I've done some recent videos on uh, some speculation, 9.8 comics, if you want to check that one out. That one out. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. As always, uh, give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much again. I'll see you on the next one.